people will talk about the gazelle now as being a, a shoe that's associated with the football terraces and football casuals, but its appeal extended way beyond that. The shoe started to be picked up culturally uh, in the 70s. I think the first people I really can think of that were wearing them were in the early 70s, the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards both wore gazelles. Michael Jackson, when he was in the Jackson 5, was wearing gazelles, kind of with the afro. The whole football casual fashion that was happening in the UK in the early 80s, which was very, when it was very sportswear led, that kind of crossed over with the popularity of electro and hip hop, which had kind of was also a scene that was kind of burgeoning at that time. So a lot of the sportswear brands were kind of, be, you know, you, you get guys like DJ Milo from the Wild Bunch in Bristol, who was a football fan who then discovered kind of hip hop and got into that. And so there was this kind of like cross fertilization between those two things. I remember sitting in the Oindale Centre one day and um, there's some kids I know, they were in a crew called Street Machine from Manchester and they'd won some prize money and they'd all bought themselves a pair of gazelle with the prize money from this, this breakdancing competition. But one of them somehow had not got his pair of gazelles when everybody else had and they were having this big blazing row in the Oindale Centre. And I remember, I also remember a couple of guys I know that were into um, jazz fusion. They, they were, you know, I don't know if you remember that style of dancing, but just after all the b-boy things started to slow down, that became pretty popular. And two of them, they, they, they had the same size feet and one of them had a pair of blue gazelles and one had a pair of lime green gazelles. And they used to swap over and wear an odd colour on each, uh, on each foot, which probably sounds fairly ridiculous now, but it, it was the 80s and at the time everybody was like, whoa, get on that. I remember going to fashion college in Manchester in the late 80s and I used to do trainers on my fashion illustrations. And it probably seems weird now, but the, the lecturers thought I was from another planet because it, it, you know, it hadn't been absorbed into the mainstream at that point and it was only when you get into the 1990s that kind of trainers start to become popular beyond these kind of subcultures if you will and uh, I think it was the mid 90s really with Britpop where Gazelle really really became like super popular all over again. UK in the mid 90s it was all about Adidas, really. It was all, you know, that, that whole Britpop thing was all about Adidas, and right at the centre of that was the Adidas Gazelle. It is almost like the defining Adidas trainer. So people often say to me, you know, what's the greatest trainer of all time? And, you know, even though it's not my personal favourite shoe, I often say the Stan Smith. But when I say that, I often think to myself, is that quite right, actually? Because, you know, the Gazelle's got to be up there as well. I had a conversation with Goldie about this and we were talking about how for us in the UK, the gazelle was our superstar. For those kids who were into hip hop, that was our superstar. And you know, the, the, the thing that's interesting as well is in the late 90s, I met a guy called Ken Swift, who was one of the members of the original Rocksteady crew. He was in that film Wild Style, he was in Beat Street. And Ken Swift is regarded by many as the ultimate b-boy and he still dances in gazelles, you know, but, and he was in the South Bronx where everybody associates hip hop culture with a superstar. And yet he says, you know, the gazelle is the, you know, the best shoe for him to dance in. Another one funny story as well is the, the last James Bond film, Daniel Craig's on a running machine wearing a pair of gazelles. So I'm sitting here saying, it's not a shoe that people generally wear for training nowadays, but James Bond trains in them. Thank <laughs> you.